Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. I have been sitting here with my die cutting machine and my glimmer machine and I have a ton of sentiments and a bunch of goodies to um, play with and make some cards. Um, one thing I am also playing with is the um, embossing folder of the month for July 2022 from Spellbinders and all of the rest of course is all my yummy goodness from Spellbinders. Um, these three sets here are all from the Just Wanted to Say die collection, um, collection, glimmer and die collection. Anyway, I've got the high, the stitched high die, the wreath builder, and the Just Wanted to Say glimmer, which all of these little sentiments all came from this Just Wanted to Say glimmer set. And which means I have a ton of stuff to play with. Um, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I think what I'm going to start off with is the one of my embossed panels and some of my high dies. So anyway, there's this die set is a stitched high. You guys probably remember that I used this a uh, month or two ago because I thought it was for a different collection and messed up and went ahead and did a stitch tie early. Today I'm not planning on actually doing the stitching, but if you'd like to see that video where I did the stitching, it was on a live stream. I will leave a link to that up in the cards and so you guys will have easy access to it. I'll also leave a link down below in the description. So anyway, these are the shadow and I'm thinking after I cut it out of a couple of pieces of pattern paper, I thought that looked really, really cool just all by itself. Also, these are wide enough that it's, ooh, okay. Uh, these are wide enough that it's not gonna be too hard to add foam tape behind it so I can pop it up and give it some dimension. I can also still add some of my little eyelet or stitched pieces if I want. So let's see, do I wanna do that? That does look pretty cool, and I might do that on the second one, since I do have a second one. Hmm. I think I am going to do it on this one. And I'm going to just add that on there with some liquid glue. Avoiding, of course, those little holes. And I'm just going to add that to my shadow. So now I've got my sentiment and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, just wanted to say hi. So that looks kind of cool. Next, I'm going to take some foam tape and put it behind my sentiment. Uh, actually, I think I'm instead, I'm going to trim down this panel first. So that's going to be five by three and three quarters. So that's approximately about a half inch smaller than A2 on, each, on two sides, which means it's going to give you a quarter inch basically get a quarter inch um, border around it. And I'm gonna add some foam tape to this panel as well. Now this is some thin foam tape from Scotch, so it works really well for this. Add some dimension, but not too much. And next I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of my high. Okay, and then I want to put on there, just wanted to say, I do like that sentiment. Let me trim that down a little bit and I'll just glue that right across the front. And this end is kind of hanging off a little bit, so I'm going to get me a little tiny piece of foam tape and tuck that behind there. There we go. So I'm going to say that is close enough for that bit. Now, this one it could go... With the, with the pinks, I'm thinking it is a bit feminine, so I think I might want to add a little bit of florals on here. I think I want that one and I do want a little bit of this greenery so so let me give this a try see what I think I think that'll be fine just two it's not gonna be too much
And that's going to finish up my first card. So for the second card, I'm using one of the striped backgrounds that I made using the Glimmer of the Month for July. And I will leave a link up here in the, up in the cards to show you guys the basically how to use it and how to make um, make everything with it. Anywho, I'm trying to talk while I'm gluing down. Sorry about that. <laughs> so for this one, I'm going to add some greenery and flowers from that wreath builder set to my high. And I think that's going to be really pretty. And I think I want it to be a little bit further. So let me go ahead and add a little bit of glue onto this tail end here. I also added some foam tape to the back as well. So I think I want to have it about right here. And that's right under that foam. So let me add up, me lift up some of that release paper so I can position that tail. I am winging it as usual, guys. And I want to be able to kind of move things around. Okay, one more try, right? I think that's about where I want it. Yes, that'll look good. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's kind of a half wreath there, and then I can add some flowers and such to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add, um, put down my high, because I don't think I want anything else kind of behind it. Okay, that looks about straight to me, so that looks good. Yeah, I'm going to add a little piece of foam behind that little flower, too. Okay, just put that down with that one, and then press it down. Now, I do notice, I'm sure that you guys have seen it, too, that the, leaf, the flowers are currently green. They're not going to stay that way, because I've also got some other flowers. That die set... Can see it has flowers that you can cut out as well so i am just going to layer up one of my pink flowers uh, maybe i've got a purple one in here too i've got a couple of pink that is good okay now that i have the glitter centers on my little flowers. I'll go ahead and adhere those down onto the flowers on my card. Okay, now that needs to go onto a card base. I think this time I am going to just put it straight down without any foam. Okay, and then I think I'm going to leave it just as is. I was thinking about adding a second sentiment, but I think it looks good without an extra sentiment. Okay, so there is two. Let's see, do I want to make any more? Okay, so for this next card, I think I am going to do just a little bit of an offset of my different letters. So you can see a little bit of what's behind them. Go ahead and adhere this down to the next one and just place the next one on there a little bit offset. I think I do want it lined up with the top and bottom though. So I'll do it that way. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'll put some more adhesive on the back and then I can add my third H. So I'll do the same thing with my eye and the tittles. Next I'm going to adhere this, another one of the embossed card panels. I'm going to um, adhere that down with some foam tape. And then just glue these guys down with some art glitter glue. I think this is going to look really cool with that offset I 
And for a sub-sentiment, I'm going to use this one that says, I'm glad we're friends. So that's going to finish up this trio of stitched high cards. Check out this playlist to see some more videos where I am using Spellbinders products. You guys have a wonderful day, and remember that if I can make it, you can too. See you next time.